Um, I'm Jack Kazmerzak. I'm, I'm a quarterback. I'm Kyle Fedorch. I'm a corner. I'm John Hebert, the head football coach. Uh, and I'm Andrew Garrison, a uh, film manager. Uh, AJ Smith, oh, yeah, WHJE. Question for Jack. What's been the biggest challenge when it comes to taking over the starting role as quarterback? Um, the biggest challenge for me so far has been just like kind of keeping the guys all united. Um, that's a big part of our team, like having the circle tight. And when everybody's all clicking, we do a great job. Uh, Andrew Hillsman, WHGs for Coach Hebert. Uh, what has the team stressed in practice the most since the Castec game last Friday? Well, our motto for the week is to uh, bring our own energy. Uh, I think that uh, we came out against Cast Tech and we, we felt maybe our focus wasn't where it needed to be, I think, in the pregame. And so, um, you know, in order to try to prevent us from getting off to a bad start, we've just been trying to emphasize, you know, coming ready to go with our energy level and our focus and that type of stuff. Barry Watson, CHTV for Kyle. Uh, how has your energy changed after winning your first game? Um, I think our, I can speak for our team as well. Like our team morale has been much higher. Um, we know those first two losses kind of hurt and we kind of didn't play our best, but kind of going off to that win now, we have that team camaraderie and their energy is much higher at practice. And Coach Eber touched on our, our thought process this week was BYOE, bring your own energy. And I think we've really kind of came into that this week doing that. Uh, another question for Coach. Uh, what's been stressed the most in practice when it comes to today's game against Pike? Well, we always are trying to improve what we do. You know, our schemes, our offensive and defensive strategies and techniques, and then the special teams. So that part of it, I think, is always going to be where we spend our time. Um, as far as, like, what we're stressing, it's specific to – you know, the, the style of play that Pike has. So we know that uh, they're athletic, they're fast. Um, you know, we want to try to contain them, try to limit big plays that they can have. And then you know, we want to control the football. Um, we want to run the football. So we set up scenarios where we get to work on those things and kind of test ourselves to see how we handle those scenarios. and. <clears throat> you know, you, you don't know exactly how that all is going to fit together until you actually get out there on Friday night. But uh, I, would, I would rate it as a, a, a fair week. Not, not great, but uh, not, not too bad either. So another one for Kyle. Uh, and my name is Andrew from WHD. We got, um, which, which player on defense would you say has been the biggest leader on the field so far for you guys? Um, I'd say, honestly, our whole entire our defense has just been really well together. I mean, a lot of us seniors um, have been played last year and everything, and I think we all kind of have each other's back. I wouldn't really say point out one person who's a big leader, but I feel like we all kind of come together, especially those guys that played significant roles last year and really kind of create that bond and we hold each other accountable. Um, another question for Jack. Uh, this season, what do you feel that you've had like, the most improvement in? What do you feel you got messed up? Um, for me, definitely leadership. Like I stepped into a bigger role this year, and it's been um, a goal of mine to stay calm, cool, and collected at all times because the guys are looking at me. They're counting on me um, to put the ball in their hands and make the right reads, and they've done a good job just helping me with that. So. Well, we, we try to touch on different topics. Um, for instance, this week, uh, we had one of, our, one of our coaches, assistant coaches, talk about um, visualization, goal setting, uh, give some scenarios and some strategies that they can use. And um, 
there's a little bit of messaging that happens every day at the start of our meetings. Um, <clears throat> but for the most part, it's a, it's a constant process. Uh, question for Jack. Besides winning the state championship, what are some of the goals that you have this season? Um, for each of us, like we just want to get better each and every week. And yeah, we just want to go one to know each week, keep getting better. And if we keep um, improving each week, then we'll meet our goal of winning the state championship. Uh, question for the video manager. How do you feel like uh, your role was able to help the team and uh, help them win games? Uh, yeah, so um, I film practice and games, essentially. And so I think that, um, uh, and the players probably tell you about this too, I, I think that you know, on Saturday mornings, the team comes in, uh, unless you're playing the JV game, and the team comes in and they're watching film of the game the past night, um, regardless of the result, you know. Um, and so I think watching that, um, and uh, it's definitely been um, kind of an honor for me to be able to uh, film those games and then give them those little insights on, um, you know, they get to see what they did well, what they didn't do well. And, uh, you know, even for teams later on, um, you know, like we play Pike tonight, and so the film for against Pike, um, we may look at that uh, uh, next year and say, okay, this is something that Pike does um, often, or this is kind of a pattern, and they can see um, that and use that to help their game plan uh, be the best that it can be. Anything else from our press corps? I'd like to add something to what Andrew was saying. Um, <clears throat> there's Every team has film. Every team uses Huddle to put the film in. That's the software. Um, so you're really dependent on the representation of, of what you've done, the play that you have. So you can look at it, critique it, and find um, you know, where you can improve that. And it's, it's almost endless. I'm not sure. Looks like this might not come back together. <laughs> um, is that okay? Um, so like we're, we're looking at other schools film that they send us, we send our film to them. We, f we film all the practices, Andrew said, um, it's just a, it's a constant thing. And then we're entering data into that software too. So every, every clip of film gets tagged with all these different, um, you know, data points and <clears throat> it's then searchable. It's, it's got value to each clip, depending on what variable has is, is been uh, entered. And uh, so to say, we may look at this next year, we, we look at it all year. We look at it over and over and over again. And so like the quality of the film is so closely tied to the success that you hope to have. Um, and we couldn't do that without Andrew and, and the rest of the student team um, that does the filming and then, you know, f for instance, we have two 30 foot cameras that film from up above the same play, the same shot. And then we have another camera in the press box filming the same play. And then we go back after the game and after practice and, and put those plays together so that the angles are played back to back for each clip. So you see each play two times in the, we, we have three cameras, and one of them is a backup in case the other one, we miss it. So um, a lot of work for um, not a lot of recognition. That's why Andrew, um, just like some th these other two guys here too, are so selfless about what they're doing and how they're contributing to the team. But um, it might be as important as anything that happens on the field. Thank you all for coming. I think that's a wrap.